Hey friends, it's Jackie Ballhays from Clamp and Stampers. I have two super cute and fun cards to share with you today. It's all about simple stamping. We've only added just a couple layers here. So it kind of fits my series or whatever I, that I've been talking about a lot, about taking a sip, stamps, ink, and paper. That's all we're using on these cards. Take a sip, stamps, ink, and paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera down in just a second and I'm gonna do some stamping for you. You're gonna love the stamp set. Oh, before we go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And those of you that have, that have, thank you so much and share my channel. I love when you guys share my channel, when you subscribe and when you click like and so forth. That helps me to be able to do these free videos for you three times a week and teach you lots of fun stamping. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Let me know if you need a catalog so that I can send you one. Um, but that's not why we're here. Let's turn the camera down and let's start stamping. I have to admit, this is one of those stamp sets that really caught my eye when I saw the Occasions catalog. I love cactus, I, cactuses, but I guess it's cacti. Please don't correct my English. I know I'm horrible at it, especially these great big ones. Maybe it's because my part of my heart right now is in Arizona because that's where my youngest daughter lives. And I love nothing more than when I go to visit her to go visit, go up to the national park and see these cactuses. So we were just there um, in December, I guess it was. And I came back and I ordered this stamp set. It's called Flowering Desert. And it's so fun and it really is super easy to stamp with. There's a lot of what I like to call parts and pieces, but it's great for the concept of just taking a sip, stamps, ink, and paper. So I have a whole bunch of the stamps. There's a lot of pieces and I have them all mounted on blocks already. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So you do want to use the piercing pad. Whenever you stamp with the photopolymer, you're going to get a much better image when you stamp, give it some kind of cushion and the piercing pad works perfect underneath it. I just have a small piece of grid paper here to kind of protect it. This is actually the grid paper that comes in a small pack like this. It's designed to work with the stamparatus, but it's perfect for stamping using the piercing pad as well. That's why we've got it. I have a piece of cardstock, Whisper White here. It is cut down to three by four and a half, I believe. And then, like I said, this stamp set is what I call a parts and pieces one. So we're just gonna kind of build our image or our, our card by using a bunch of these parts and pieces. So we'll start with a great big cactus. We'll stamp him right there. And I didn't stamp that so good. You know what? Let's just flip the cardstock over. You know, there's two sides to every piece of cardstock. That's why I always tell people when you're stamping, don't ever adhere your, your card layers together until you're done stamping because we can easily just flip it over and use the other side. Okay, so there's the big cactus. And then like I said, we're gonna just build it. We use Granny Apple Green for that one. And then let's add some shaded spruce in here. Now I have absolutely no idea what the names of these desert cacti and, and flowers are. Um, and I don't even know if I'm doing the right colors, but I thought they looked good. So that's what I'm all about. And have you been in a store recently? It seems like cactus are the, the home decor trend. Um, I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and holy goodness, there was like, cactus stuff everywhere. If it wasn't like the fake ones that were in pod, pots, there's wall hangings, there's all kinds of cactus stuff. So, okay, as I was chatting there, I just stamped. Now the one thing, I needed to get some ground cover here. And I played around and what I've had fun doing is I took one of the stamps that's really intended to be part of building a cactus. So it's, it's this image right here. And then we've got Sahara sand. I figured, you know, deserty. That sounded kind of deserty to me. I gotta turn this at an angle a little bit. And what I did for my bottom, I wanted it a little bit lighter. So I stamped on scrap paper first to get a little of that ink off. And then I just started stamping to build my ground. Notice how I tap, 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 get some ink off. And then I stamped it a bunch of times to just kind of fill that in to make our ground cover. There we go. Kind of looks like the desert that I was in a few weeks ago. So we've got that. And then let's go ahead and we're going to use our black pad. I, I personally prefer doing my greetings in black most of the time because I think they just really pop um, and show up a lot. 
So we're going to just make that a hi there card. And then to finish off our card, I have a piece of shaded spruce. That's just an eighth bigger. So we can put it there. Don't worry about the measurements on this. I will have a link down in the description that'll take you to all the details. It'll list all the colors I used as well as all the supplies I used. So if you want to make these cards, I'll make it super easy for you. And all I'd have to do is adhere that down and we're ready to go. There is the one I did before. I did add different words. Don't forget to stamp the inside. And then you know me, we cannot, will not, promise to never ever send naked envelopes through the mail. So it's kind of my campaign. That's my soapbox for the year. We're going to always make our envelopes cute. So look at that. There is our card ready to send out. Now, because that was so quick and easy, let's just go ahead and make another one because I want to show you how fun it is to play with some of the other stamps that are in the stamp set. So we're going to use that one cactus piece, but I got to clean it off because I don't want Sahara sand because we're going to switch over to that granny apple green. Chamois, have you guys picked up a chamois yet? Yep, this one looks pretty well used, but I just washed it so I know it's nice and clean. Um, it will stain, it will probably always look ugly like this, but all you have to do is run it under your sink and squeeze it out really, really good until the water runs clean. I keep it in a plastic box like this so it's always damp and ready to use. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is use these other pieces to just build a fun cactus scene, I guess we'll call it. Um, there are so many, here, let's just bring them, bring them all in close here. There's so many different pieces that you can use to build your cactus. I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way. And if you notice, I am stamping these a couple of times to get some different shades in there. Because I figured not all cactus are the same, are the same shades. And if you've ever been out in the desert, you know that these cactuses just grow very weirdly and very randomly, I guess. And again, I don't understand my plants. I mean, you can tip these at different angles, but I just went ahead and as I made my card, this is exactly what I did. I just kept stamping and stamping to build, build our random cactuses, we'll call them. And then let's take this flower and we're going to clean that off because we used Melon Mambo before. And as you know, Melon Mambo, any of your pinks or reds, they will really stain your stamps, but they're clean. Okay. I know because I cleaned it off that I can stamp with it again. So we'll add some flowers onto our cacti here. Uh, we'll put one. How about right there? And then I'm actually just using a lot of the same stamps that I used previously um, on that other card. We'll just kind of throw in. Notice how I stamped that a couple of times as well to get some different shades. That was Shaded Spruce. And then we'll use um, Cajun Craze, I guess we've got going here. We'll build that up, get those in there, and then um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this image, some kind of desert plant. So we'll use Sahara sand for that. Again, we want it a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go on scrap paper, okay? That's how you can get your ink pads to kind of go a little bit further for you. And then when I made my first one of this, I used the same stamp that I did the ground cover with before in that Sahara sand. And I just tapped it a whole bunch of times down here along the bottom just to kind of give that desert floor look down there instead of just a white edge. There you go. So back to our original stamp, pretty similar. I mean, no two are ever gonna be alike, like no two cactuses are ever alike. My greeting for this one, I just stamped on a scrap paper and cut it out, popped it up with some dimensionals, finished off the inside. So there are our two, our two cards made with flowering desert. I hope you like this stamp set as much as I like it. It's a fun one to play with because you really are just kind of creating scenes. There's no right way or wrong way to put them together, but they're just super fun to play with. Um, if you have any questions on these cards or anything else, make sure to ask. This stamp set is in the Occasions catalog, and like I said earlier, if you don't have a catalog and don't have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you one. So. 
I guess that's all I got to share with you guys today. It was fun stamping with you, and I look forward to stamping with you again in a couple of days. Have a stamp happy day.